Okay, okay, we are back with some more Melanie Martinez. Next up is Strawberry Shortcake, produced by Michael Keenan. Okay, let's get it. We've got a video as well. The song's really quiet. Was that a bodysuit? I think it was a bodysuit. Yeah. Like what? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. The heart. That was really cool too. Dude, what is this called? What is this stuff called? The water choreography? I've seen like clips of that, like movies and stuff. You know what I mean? I never, I don't even really know what it is, but they do some cool stuff with it, like that. I don't know how, like I'd probably drown even if it's in a freaking pool, but still really cool. They're creeping, dude. They're eating the icing. That's kind of catchy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so cool. That was it? Dang. I think the chorus is really catchy, but it's kind of freaking sad, you know? I like how Melanie discusses societal issues like this on her songs. Remember people, sexual harassment is sexual harassment. Boy or girl, never, t never touch or try anything with anyone without consent. True. The part where... The part <clears throat> that was got boys acting like they ain't seen skin before. Real, right? The song is legit definition of protect your daughters. <laughs> no, educate your sons. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's a, a big thing that needs to be done because I feel like ah, oh god this is just such a dude I don't like talking about this shit but it's so true man a lot of kids out there dude they're just I feel like parents aren't doing a good enough job uh, at, at making them understand a certain but then again when you're like fucking 14 it's like your little brain isn't going to comprehend certain issues to the fullest extent you know what i mean they'll see an issue and they'll just look at it at the surface level and think nothing of it but there's so much more complex things and issues tied within itself a skirt is not an invitation any with an e yeah that's gross that that has to be said that's really fucked up that we have to even say that i saw that's like the one thing dude that's like the one thing where the guy's like Oh, I don't like talking about this shit, man, but 
this and this happened a lot, I think. But the one thing I was reading about is one girl got R worded, and the guy's like, "Oh, she was asking for it. Look at her outfit. Like it's it's like that, and it's just like it's so fucking disgusting, dude. It pisses me off. And it, what do you do about people like that? What can you do about people like that? I feel like it's a whole political aspect that uh, to take it up. I don't know. I really don't know, dude. And I don't really like getting myself involved in these discussions because I'm not very I'm not very smart. And I feel like you got to be kind of like educated to talk on topics. I'm not very smart about this stuff, but I feel like I know right from fucking wrong. Uh, so I, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. You know what I hate? I hate when girls dress like tomboys, they get labeled as lesbian or she wants to be a boy. But when girls actually get the courage and confidence to wear stuff like dresses and skirts, she's labeled as slut. Right. It's like a double-edged sword type thing. People say that she is turning childish things inappropriate when she is really speaking it's really spreading a big message. That message is that people should not be judged by what they look like and that people should not be changing themselves just to impress others. Tro, this is why she's such an inspiration. She teaches so many valuable lessons in her songs and for some people it's hard to get that message. That's very true. That's actually very true. Instead of making me feel bad for the body I got, just tell him to keep it in his pants and tell him to stop. One girl blasted this on her speaker in the locker rooms and she got in trouble in... She was screaming, why am I in trouble for proving a point and trying to tell these girls they aren't alone? She got suspended. Is this a true story? I guess, like, I can see someone, a student getting suspended for blasting music on a speaker. But I don't think she got suspended for trying to be like... I don't know. Yeah, I'm confused. Maxine is the name of the girl that played the music in the locker rooms. What does that provide? <laughs> why does that matter? We don't need to know her name. I'm not talking about Melanie in the... I think people know her not... I don't know what this comment's talking about. I. <laughs> the sad thing is, stop isn't enough. Oof. I love how all four Barbie figures don't look the same, and they're all so beautiful in their own way. Barbie figures? Did I miss something? At the start? Barbie figures? Or are they talking about in real life? I never realized how much I relate to the song until now. It makes me want to cry. I'm so insecure about my body and kids at school make fun of my small chest. I can't control it. And with the whole dress code thing, let us wear what we want. It's the boys that are the problem. Yeah, I feel like, well, I feel like a lot of kids in general can be assholes, but I think it's especially the young guys. The young guys. Well, I don't know. I've seen some girls do some harsh things back in high school, dude. I remember like some bullying shit that was really harsh. But the guys, they always like, they always make it like, a gross thing i feel like you know that's my bad that's my bad no one taught them not to grab why is no one talking about how the choreography of the swimmers thank you i thought that was sick Sixteen thousand likes why is the comment so low that's what i was saying dude that swimming shit's really cool <clears throat> if it's a boy or girl never ever touch them with their consent we read that earlier wait is this a copy and paste no one told them not to grab yeah Yikes. I think the message is really important here. Um, this song is a banger as well. I like the chorus, but other than that, it was like, it's nice. It's chill. Uh, but I think the message is the main aspect for this song for sure. And it's very important. So keep it late, man. Keep while I rate this track. It's decent. I think the video was nice too with the, the swimmers. I like that. And the entire set. But this is for the movie. So I guess the set's going to be insane. Uh... I like it. Keep really man keep while I rate this track. I'm going to go with... I'll go like an 8. I'll go like an 8.5. I'm going to chill on an 8.5 for now. It's a cool song, man. I like it. 8.5.